All right, we are back. Sorry, that was a little longer than my like starting break usually is, but um, I had to like I filled the big like the mega water bottle, which like I fill it with the fridge filter, and that's not a very high flow rate. Whatever. Point being, most of that time was <laughs> filling that water bottle. To be honest. And the rest of the time was running all the way to my room upstairs to grab, like, uh, my Xbox controller. I think uh, I might play some, like, One Step from Eden later. Because I predict that we'll finish up early. And we'll probably go play in Forge a little bit. Foundry. Getting them mixed up. <laughs> playing Foundry a little bit. Um, but if there's not that much to do there, uh, then we'll just hang out and play some games. So, yeah. Thank you for the welcome back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to, like, so I didn't fill this water bottle because it's like a soda stream bottle. And if I'm gonna, like, I don't know, point being, it's still got, like, carbonated water in here. Whatever. It's. <laughs> we don't need to talk about my hydration complications. It's not a big deal. Anyway. <laughs> so. The. Yeah, kind of the big thing I wanna do here is semi-stat out um, the Guardian Harpy. Um, and, like, what what her role's gonna be? Because I don't want it... I don't want the fight to be free now that they have allies, right? So... So, yeah. I think, like... Her primary thing... Like, the other Harpies are 100% just going to be outside dealing with, like, the extra soldiers and everything. And she is going to be... She's going to come down. We're just going to... Is there, like, a wind wall? This is the wrong section. So one thing she's definitely going to do is around the same size as this fire cone, there's just going to be a, like, a tornado. Like, a wall of wind that's going to prevent anyone, anyone from coming in and out. It's going to wall off the enemies. Um, so that's, like, primary role. And we might just go on the cheap side <laughs> and say that it takes, like, two actions to concentrate on that spell to, like, keep that whirlwind going. And, like, she just only has one action aside from that. Because um, everything else is spent sustaining. That might be might be what we do. Not tomorrow. Let's search in everything. Look for a wind wall. Um, okay. I think I have stuff for this. I have, like, a, um, spell effects. Yeah, this will kind of work. Whirlwind. Let's try that. Um, I kind of want something a little more... Let's just look at the templates. Let's look at the full pack. This, by the way, is the Legend of Mana soundtrack. It's delightful. Usually I listen to the jazz version, but Lady Midnight was saying she hated jazz, so I was like, all right, next time I'll just do the regular soundtrack, because that's great too. So, yeah. I already forgot the name of it. Spell templates? Oh my gosh, it's so hard to pull up for this search. Spell effects, yeah. Okay, okay. See, something like... I, I want just the circle, really. I feel like it'll be too distracting if it's just, like, <laughs> over the entire area. So I'll probably go with a circle that is not ideal over, like, a perfect... I'll go with an outline that's not ideal over, like, a perfect tornado that covers the whole area. I suppose we could do lightning. That wouldn't be terrible. There's got to be something. Even if it's like, this could work. Let's just pull this out. We'll use it if we, if we must. Do 
If we make this fire gray, it could work. Mm, I don't super like the lightning. <laughs> Sonic burst. All right. Let's just take a look at what this looks like, stretched wildly <laughs> over the entire area. Yeah. <laughs> that makes the situation pretty unreadable, I would say. Hold on, that's not the right one either. Let's do this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty tough. It's pretty tough to see. <laughs> Maybe that's an okay effect. Let's, like, if we... It's kind of harder to see the pillars. And I'm pretty sure the, like, tint options we have aren't... Yeah. If there was a nice opacity slider in here, then we could probably do it. But I don't think this is uh, I don't think this is gonna work. You know what I bet has an opacity slider. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna <laughs> We'll take a look later to see if Foundry has an opacity slider. And we're not gonna make any bets. We're not gonna we're not gonna be that salty about it. Alright, let's see. Oh, I like the new lighting stuff. I haven't gotten to play with this yet too much in, um, in Roll20. This feature is in active development. Turning on updated dynamic lighting will turn off legacy dynamic lighting for this page. If you want to go back, you'll need to turn on legacy back... Turn on legacy back on for the page. That's actually just how it says. Uh, uh, revealed areas in one system will not be revealed in the other. Consider testing the feature in a copy or new game. Gotcha. Hmm. Okay. Vision gives the token to be able, the ability to see if there is light or night vision. If there is light or if night vision is enabled. Okay. I'm having trouble reading this copy. Tokens with vision can see to the edge of the available light. Gotcha. Night vision. See without any light. Okay. Bright light makes the token emit bright light. Enable this to set its distance. Okay. Low light. This is neat. This is neat. I mean, it's kind of the same as before, right? Like, um... Before, you would just set the total light, and you would set the start of the dim light? So it was, like, a little clunkier. I like this better, but it doesn't actually... It's like a usability thing more than... I hit the back button. <laughs> Alright, we'll just let roll 20... Open for a moment. Let's look at defensive spells. <laughs> I have a feeling that the spells that are like, I will take a hit for my ally, they probably are in the divine spell list, I'm gonna guess. And they're probably not first level spells. <laughs> Here's the, uh, there's another thing we need to adjust. Do I have... I don't think I'm going to dox myself anything too bad in my drive. There's nothing too embarrassing in my recent, <laughs> my recent stuff. I have occasionally literally just had my, like, passport sitting there and uh, driver's license pictures and stuff, so. <laughs> just don't do that. Don't put all of your private information into a Google Drive. It's a bad idea. Unless you're lazy and moving between locations and mostly lazy. <laughs> um, where is it? From Harpies, yeah. I have decided that I don't want to give them four of the feather tokens to attach to their armor. Just one is fine. And they can decide who wants to get it. 
As a reminder, this provides airwalk, which kind of neutralizes, like, they only have to go five feet up to not have to worry about this cone of fire. So, uh... So, like, that neutralizes an entire mechanic. And it neutralizes, like, they can fly over the flame barrier. It makes it harder to line up the bull moose fire line of death. Um, being in the air just helps a lot on this fight, so only one. I keep my file openers to open my, uh, on my other monitor for that exact reason, yeah. Yep. I, every, I usually do that. I usually pull this off to another window and open it over there and then pull it back. But I was like, eh, it's in a new tab. It's a lot of work to pull it off of here, you know? It's like Chrome gets all glitchy for half a second. It's a really poor user experience. <laughs> Hear me, Google? You're making me less safe by being slightly annoying when you pull a tab off. Okay, point being, one feather. So they can pick who gets to ignore mechanics. Not that they've even seen the line bull moose flame death yet. And then the Talon Glove. We'll, we'll talk about that in a bit. We'll see what's what comes on this baseline or what the possible options are. I might give him an option. Um, I might generally give my players options. This is Relic, by the way. I might generally give my players options when it comes to Relics. Because um, that's... Eve's dagger's whole thing is like Eve gets to pick what powers go on the dagger. So. <clears throat> Am I actually spelling attach wrong here? What's it what's it complaining about? Attached to no. It just doesn't like my shorthand. Oh. One moment. It's I don't want to. I don't want to post over Bean Sprout's stream. Um, anyway, so yeah, I think um, I think we're right out with this wind torrent here. Let's try some. Uh, let's try enlarging some others. I like the idea potentially of up here. I apologize if I end up saying I like this song 75 times tonight because I sure like a lot of the songs in Legend of Mana. This is going to be, this is going to look real bad. <laughs> We're going to see them pixels on this one. Someone give me the, like, gigabyte version of this file, please. <laughs> Gotta help you if you hit 76 times. Got it. I'll, uh, I'll keep track. I'll try to count. So let's, uh, let's tint this a nice gray? Well, that didn't work at all like I wanted it to. <laughs> there? Yeah? No? Not really. All right. Black? Ah, dog. Okay. Try. Let's try counteracting some of the brights. Let's go blue. All right, it's purple. That's not the worst, right? Hmm. I have a feeling these weren't meant to be eighty tiles wide. Like, if I have to do it, that's not terrible. Let's put it on the GM screen. Yeah. Like, if I can't get it gray, which it sure seems like I can't, then, like, purple kind of seems like an okay alternative. It's kind of like the, the cheaty way to get gray, in my opinion. Like, I don't think, if I just, if I do green, it's just going to, like, kind of turn it brown, right? We'll try it. Bright-ass green. That's not brown. <laughs> It's like a smoke purple instead of like a, yeah, yeah. Like the royal in your face purple. So green was, uh, I'm going to say that was a fail. Let's try the dark green. That is shockingly ineffective. <laughs> All right, back to blue. 
can try some of these dark blues, too. The green looks like poison, yeah. Mm, dark blue, not as effective. Mm, that still just looks kind of like... Uh, let's... Hold on. Part of the problem is that we're already making it less opaque. By having it on the GM layer. Yeah. Yeah. None of this works quite as well as... Just the straight, direct blue. Out of curiosity, if we do make it just directly purple, I'm assuming... Nope. <laughs> okay, so. Blue is temporarily the move. Now, back to the GM layer with you. I think we got to the bottom of that set of spell templates. So let's look in the second one. Aqua ball. I don't want the balls. I don't want the full circles, filled in circles. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Oh, if we get like a smoke thing like this, that could work. You know, if it's something that's like just the edge, which is wishful thinking, I know. <laughs> Probably not the eyeballs. Uh, I think we tried the pit thing in another one and it didn't really work that well. Like, it just is the case that all of these pits are darker in the middle than on the outside, so it doesn't actually look like a ring. Planar Breach. Rock Circle. Probably not, but... Probably not, but let's pull it out. I just want a Steam Circle. All right, that's, yep, got nothing in here. <clears throat> that's not gonna be anything, yeah, no, okay. So let's see, winged fiends, four-legged fiends, humanoid monsters, adventuring environs, probably not, yeah, bridges and stuff. So much to like look through for this. Rune puzzles? I don't think so. Weather? No, no. Weather overlays are all like gifts and stuff. If there were some circles of runes, I could be convinced that those those could work. But no. All right. Um. I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like the bad circle of fire over, like, a rune circle. It's a little closer to the desired effect. Plus, that's ugly. <laughs> that looks even worse stretched out. Okay, moving on from that. One last try on the rock circle. Got halfway there without looking garbage. <laughs> Definitely too rocky here. This is just gonna brighten it. Gosh. If I could get, if they just gave me a version of this that was without the rocks and it was just like the sand parts, that would uh, that would do the trick for me. But alas. Okay. That's okay. Alright. Purple fire it is. Yeah. Those are some, yeah, some pretty aggressive rock formations. 
pretty, pretty pointy and cagey. <laughs> Hello, Looney. Thank you for the follow. How are how are you doing tonight? I don't know if you've followed Core here ever, but yeah, we just we do Pathfinder prep on Tuesdays, and we do Pathfinder actual gameplay on Wednesdays. So. So, we got our wind wall. Let me just... Does Google have anything... Did I still have it in tokens? Lurch here before? Okay, I kind of thought so. <laughs> right, like... Like, the free from the web is going to have any kind of actually usable... Lines of wind, that could be okay. Wow. Free from the web is not helping me out. Let's try, let's, if we do tokens, it usually does a little better. Even if this isn't strictly speaking like a token. Yeah, I don't think there were any lines in here either. You know, actually, though, actually, though. Just try this one more time with the wind. Oops. We're gonna just chuck the fire over here for a minute. So we're gonna do the old two back. It's gonna disappear for a minute. And then we're gonna two back the entire map. And hey, now it's under the under the pillars and everything. Oh, I have to I have to do that <laughs> to a couple quadrants, I guess. To back over here and here and here. Now it's just behind the pillars and stuff. I kind of forgot that the pillars weren't part of like the background map. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how I forgot that, but it's it's fine. So that's that's like mostly good enough. Um, I like how that looks. We'll work with that. That's much better than the fire. Oop, that's not what I, I almost deleted. The wrong ass thing. Okay. All right, that'll do. Um. <laughs> However, does it keep the layer level if I put it on the GM layer? And then we go to the GM layer and if we just like move it back? It does? Oh no, I... <laughs> that was the wrong thing. I'm sorry. It does not. Um... Yeah, well, that'll do it. Alright. It does. It does. I was correct. Just... Alright, so that'll do. I just need to grab the right thing. And there's... <laughs> so many things on the GM layer here. <laughs> So that's uh, perhaps not the easiest thing. Anyway. Right here, right this corner is where I want to grab. This is if I, you know, if I grab here, it's obviously, it's the red circle. So I want just right there, right there will be good. All right. Just gotta remember that. So the whirlwind is there. Step one. Let's see. Uh, let's find some harpies. 
There's just not going to be a token for, like, the Guardian Harpy, unfortunately. Sounds good, Caddy Cakes. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, no problem. I was It was fun to watch and, like, hang out and listen. I'm glad I got to got to hang out for a while. So, thank you for, uh, for getting me back and chilling here. Happy to hear it. Sleep well. So I think this could work. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have a... I think we'll have a chill night here. Thank you. That is not the harpy I'm looking for. Or is that? Although, that's cute as fuck, to be honest. <laughs> I kind of think... I, hmm. I don't have the harpies that are just, like... That don't have separate... Okay, that's fine. That's Okay. I'm definitely looking more for this style of harpy, where it's like the wings and the arms are not different for most of them, and then like the regular harpy, or not the regular harpy, the, the harpy like deity person has separate arms, and that's kind of the kind of a differentiator. Let's grab another soundtrack here. <clears throat> Uh, who to, what to listen to? Let's see. Pokemon Jazz Orchestra Mix? That sounds okay. That sounds okay. We'll do, we'll do Octopath one more time, though. Octopath is nice and upbeat. Are you still listening to folk music? Um, yeah. Still on occasion. I don't, like, it's not the, um, I guess, primary thing I seek out, I guess. But I'll definitely still listen to it. Um, I was listening to some recently. I don't remember who. Hold on. Hello, Core. Welcome. Yeah, let me stop by. Teddy was here just a minute ago. You just missed her. Wait. <laughs> Does Looney have dynamic capitalization? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. I have so many people who are just real sweet with our Twitch Prime, and they pretty reliably use it here, and it's... Oh. Phil would be proud. <laughs> okay, let's see some more premium assets. Oh, that'd be ethereal. Hmm. I like the portrait style. What the... All right, all right, Azu, being all cute with your tokens. What the heck? That could be good. Hmm. We might be making a making a purchase because, <laughs> like, the armored harpy is definitely what I'm looking for for the the deity one. I don't know. I'm getting whites in the search. There's some interesting tokens in uh, on Roll20. What the animated? What the? Huh. I didn't know that was a thing on Roll20. Well, I guess it, I know, that does make sense. They added animations for like overlays and stuff, so why not tokens? Huh. Oh well. Let's take a look at... Let's go to look at that Devon Night Pack. Um, I 
Wes says he's too busy to GM. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Also, I really like that this window can be resized, but nothing in the window can. That's a little bit sad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Core. I wish... I don't actually like most of the... I mean, they're fine, but I don't super like most of the tokens in here. It was. It was real good. It was a good plan. I like some of these. I like some of the demon ones, although we're unlikely to use them here, but yeah, they'll do. Um, is this downloadable? I don't know how to see that from in here. You can export existing characters from other games into this game using the character fault. What the? Huh? Whatever. Oh, shoot. Did a hype train happen to today? No, I don't think so. Are you, if you're talking about um, Michael's hype train, that's from... We had a hype train start up on, like, Friday? During Persona, I think? Maybe? Maybe? Michael, do you remember when that happened? Was it, was it Persona, or was it... If you were hanging out, it must have been Persona. Two weeks ago? Okay, okay. I know there was another... It was Pathfinder prep. Okay. Huh. All right, cool. All right. There have been a, a couple... Uh, there have been two hype trains. The one that you were here for, Core, and then, like, another one. Um, more recently. <clears throat> oh, my God. I love buying World 20 stuff. I need to stop. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right, the combo sub. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> All right, guys. Don't, uh, don't steal my credit card with these last four digits. Since you've just resubbed. Really? Was it a gift sub that you dropped, maybe? Huh, I don't know. Okay. No, there was definitely a recent one. Processing. I think it's fine. Just gotta, like, refresh it. Right? Yeah, owned. Owned! Okay. To gift sub anyone ever? I suppose I can... Oh, yeah. You are correct. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. I could have swore it was, like, real recent. Anyway, it's fine. <clears throat> Alright, let's get this new harpy out here. Ah, there we go. Okay, so just down here. She'll be kind of big. And on the GM layer. <laughs> And then, like, we want other harpies? I don't really want them to be the exact same. So I might use just a completely different token set for them. Uh, this could be... Like, I think we use this token in the other spot. So maybe this one. This will be for the other... Um, harpy fighters. Move it over here. GM layer it. Should be about enough. Uh, something I need to look up, I guess. Maybe I hopefully hope I didn't just delete it. 
got the mine, Naga Dungeon B2. We need we need the Naga Dungeon B1. There was like the Barbarian that was in there with them. So let's restore that. Right. Yeah, bits are more directly beneficial. So it could have just been... Yeah, like someone else dropped a gift sub or something, or a sub, and then you dropped bits, and... Oh, oh, directly beneficial. Okay, yeah. I see what you mean. Not for the train. Maybe also for the train? I don't know how the trains work at all. But yeah, that's, that's correct. <laughs> like, the streamer receives more of the bits, but, like... I do like the draw of gift subs, especially since, like, a streamer of my size, you don't really see payout very frequently, so. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Copy that. I think the default setting of trains is, like, three bits slash subs within a one-minute period? Okay. Okay. Really? That seems easy to trigger. <laughs> Three bit, three bit actions. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. From different people. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Has to be unique users. <laughs> that does not seem to stop people from trying. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> you don't... Like I said, it doesn't seem to stop some people from trying. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the bit rain. I appreciate it. I appreciate your, uh, your, your dedication to science. So if you don't want it to happen very often, you just set the user quantity higher. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I haven't, like, touched the setting at all. Um, so. Got you. Okay, so we got that. Like I said, I think... I don't actually think we want this harpy, like, fighting exactly. Click the wrong thing. Okay. What we do kind of potentially want is like a way to hmm, like redirect like one attack to Guardian Harpy Lady. Shield Other could do. Why isn't there a channel point reward to choose the game? Clearly we need Persona 5 Royal Progress. <laughs> yeah, I did see that the drops were enabled for everyone in Valorant now. That's nice. Brand the Impenitent. Brand the target with an ethereal copy of your deity's religious symbol. <laughs> okay. Darkness, Dark Vision, Deafness, Death Nell. Wow. Okay. Enhance victuals. Hmm. I think shield other is the only thing of that kind here on the on that tier. Time to inflate my viewer count. <laughs> that protects against those. Okay. Mm, that's a trap thing. There's probably nothing in this tier since there was one in the last one. Airwalk, we're already giving them. And a thematic reprisal. Some of these names are pretty sweet. Forgotten lines. Restore, restore destroyed, or censored text. Okay. Restroy. Lobe of Invulnerability, Magical Sphere, counteracts spells that would enter it. Okay. We'll look at that, but 
the spells the spells aren't really what's gonna kick the player's teeth in in this fight. <clears throat> Why am I all right? Spell immunity, not really interested. Vital beacon? Radiate vitality that heals creatures that touch you. Okay. That could be okay, but probably not. We want something more proactive. Drop dead. <laughs> the target appears to die, but actually turns invisible. <laughs> so that's, some of these spells are great. Spiritual guardian, create a magical guardian to attack at your command and take damage for your allies. Maybe a modified version of that, and that's probably... We probably don't want something higher than 5th level. Probably not. Let's look at Shield Other. 10 minutes. You forge a temporary link between the target's life essence and your own. The target takes half damage from all effects that deal hit point damage, and you take the remainder of the damage. When you take damage through this link, you don't apply any resistances, weaknesses, or other abilities you have to that damage. You simply take that amount of damage. Spell ends if the target is ever more than 30 feet away from you. If either you or the target is reduced to zero hit points, any damage from the spell is resolved, and then the spell ends. I think this could just do it. Like... Basically turns a crit into a regular hit, allows Eve to survive one of those, like a crit. Um, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, 40% off Shadowbringers and complete edition of Final Fantasy XIV. If you, uh, if you have any interest in playing the game, it's a good game. Just letting you know, I play the game sometimes. And... <laughs> will gladly vacuum any people into the game I can. So, convenient ad. Not sponsored, but... Don't play World of Warcraft Classic, though. Don't. Ignore this ad. This is a bad ad. Uh, Globe with Vulnerability. Right, that's the one that makes you immune to a spell. It's not really gonna give the edge on Salamander. Vital Bacon. <clears throat> Vitality radiates outward from you. Allowing others to supplicate and receive healing. I, no, I'm a, I'm a, I'm not a Lala. I'm a, what are they called? The dragons? I'm a dragon lady. I don't know, I can't remember their name. Aura, I'm an Aura. Also they, I guess technically they aren't, they aren't dragons. They're not related to the dragons, according to Final Fantasy XIV devs. They just happen to be dragony. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's kind of odd lore. <laughs> it's like people were getting a little too excited because they were like coming out in the dragon expansion. They're like, oh, there's a dragon war and we get to be dragons. And Square was like, no, no, no. They're not. They're not. They're not dragons. They just. They're not related. Um. So, the first vital, the first vital bacon, restores forty ten hit points to the first creature, forty eight hit points to the second, forty six to the third, forty four to the fourth. After which the spell ends. You can have only one vital bacon active at a time. Wow, and it's if it's heightened, it restores one additional die of hit points each time it heals, using the same die size as the others for that step. Okay, um, I don't really want to sustain the players. I think I think shield other is going to be the move. This is this is okay. This is okay. The other interesting thing I could do is I can give them. Like a scroll of shield other and they can pick like they can what is this divine only none of them actually have divine spell casting do they it's like i can just give them a scroll that breaks the rules or it can be like granted by 
granted by the, the harpy. It's like, I bless you with the ability to cast this spell, since she is kind of a god in her own right. Um, point being that way, like, the players would have to choose, like, who's taking damage for who here? Let's also look real quick. I don't think Sonus has a lot of health, right? So, like, Eve has 63 total. Sonus only has, yeah, like, 48. Sonus is squishy. If he gets in melee range, he's gonna be in trouble. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how they handle that, I guess. Maybe there's like a paladin reaction thing? Oh, I didn't really look at spiritual guardian. That's an interesting one too. A medium guardian made of magical force. Appears and attacks foes you designate within range. The spiritual guardian is translucent and appears to be holding your deity's favored weapon. Oh, when you cast the spell, an occupied space next to the foe would make a strike. Each time you sustain, you can move the spiritual guardian to an unoccupied space next to the target within range and make a strike. Um, alternatively, when you sustain the spell, you can have the guardian move adjacent to an ally and protect the ally. If you do, each time the ally would take damage, the Guardian takes the first 10 damage instead of your ally. Uh, okay. It continues to do so until you move the Guardian to attack an enemy or defend an, a different ally, or until the Guardian is destroyed. It has 50 hit points and can't recover HP by any means. That's cool too. The Guardian can't usually take damage, except when protecting an ally, though Disintegrate automatically destroys it. Wonderful! Okay. Spiritual Guardian's AC... If it... Okay, I see. Guardian's strikes are melee spell attacks. Um... Yeah, that's cool. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna give the players... <clears throat> Either a... Maybe a token. We'll just give a token of... That way we don't have to deal with this whole scroll thing. It'll be a free action to activate it. So, what I'm... Yeah. They will get a token of shield other. They will get... The harpy is going to cast Spiritual Guardian and just have it defend whoever is in melee range. Um... Yeah, that that actually like efficiently takes up the harpy's moves too. So like Harpy sustains the like wind wall and then spends two actions holding an action to like defend someone with the spiritual guardian and the trigger is Salamander goes to attack them. So like spending two actions to make it act like a reaction, so That's cool. That's cool, that's cool. All right. Um, need to go here. So, one X feather token. One X, uh, yeah, like wing shield token. Attached to armor. On saying the command word, they provide it. It provides. Um, shield other. Okay, so they're going to get some defensive tools. Uh, yeah, I guess the next thing will be talking about the Talon Glove. <sighs> I'm so excited to play this session. <laughs> so excited to see how this goes. And I think, I, like, I don't know. I kind of learned from when they fought with Brass that just having the NPC negate uh, boss mechanics isn't really isn't really the move. Um, 
So like giving the players defensive tools and letting them choose how to use it, I think that's more more interesting. Okay. So start of the fight, Guardian Harpy casts, what was it, Guardian Spirit, uses reactions to have it defend whoever Salamander attacks. I'll link to it. Spiritual Guardian, not uh, Guardian Spirit. <laughs> Guardian Spirit is a WoW spell. That's too goddamn big. All right, 40. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, cool. So I actually feel pretty prepared for tomorrow now. That's kind of all I needed to do. Um, Persona 5. Uh, maybe? I don't actually... I don't know. We'll, we'll see, Core. <laughs> I want to, like... I don't know. I like spending chunks of time on it, and I don't actually... Like, I don't have super all night to play it. <laughs> Only a couple hours. We'll see. But I might end up playing it on both Thursday and Saturday, if that if that helps at all. Um, the one last thing I need to do here, we should look at relics and the air gifts to fill out kind of what this Talon Glove is going to give or what it might give. resistant. I thought we found a place where it actually gives us the relic rules. Major, grand, minor. Oh yeah, it gives a returning on a weapon. There's got to be more minor gifts for air than that. Right? Do we have to go to the PDF for this? Is that what happened? Hmm, gift saves and spell attack rolls. Any gifts allow for a saving throw? Okay, yeah, yeah. Runes as gifts. Oh yeah, I don't want runes as gifts. I want the regular gifts. Oh, it's gonna give me the book. Okay, let's just go find it in the drive. Oh my god, that's what I wanted, Chrome. It all disappeared, what the fuck? Okay. Good job, Chrome. Good crash. Thanks. Hmm, okay.
There's this restore button. All right, I'm s sorry, stream all hell's gonna break loose for a minute because I've got a lot of YouTube videos just chilling. Ugh. Which one must be paused first? Get this one, there we go. Okay. This is so much crap. Let just open back up. Ugh. Thanks, Chrome. Big preach. All right, that's fine. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. Uh, that out of here. That out of here. Yeesh. All right, that wasn't wasn't as bad as it could have been. <laughs> But now my main chat window is all like nothing. Thankfully, I still have Yelp chat window in OBS. Okay. That was literally just because, oh, the only other person I know that uses multiple desktops. It's so good for work. Like, I work from this computer and just being able to, like, all right, working on this task right now. I want a clean workspace. I'll just, like, shoop it all off to another desktop, move to that desktop. Great for streaming as well, as you can see. Like, I have a bunch of shit open. It's just not in my way. It's somewhere else. All right, let's try this again. Core rulebook, Dragonborn, GMG? GMG, that's what we want. It opens. There we go. Okay. We moved a window between screens and Chrome didn't crash. Good job, Chrome. <sighs> okay. These are... Oh, yeah, we're, we're right on the gifts page. What do you know? Um, a living statue. Phoenix. Fuck off. Sorry. It's reloading. I didn't tell it to reload, but that's fine. That's okay. Not mad. Okay. All right, we were looking at the fiendish and the celestial. We want to find air. This is going to be like good aspect? No, death gifts, celestial gifts, beast gifts, yeah. Um, air gifts. All right, deadly spark. Command interact. A spark flashes out from the relic towards a creature within 20 feet. The spark deals 1d12 electricity damage. That's pretty good. Basic reflex save. The damage increases by 1d12 at 6th level, and another 1d12 every 4 levels thereafter. That's pretty neat. Um, feather steps. While wearing the relic, you do not trigger traps that use weight or pressure plates as a trigger. Also, whenever you fall, you reduce the falling damage by the level of the relic. Wow. If this would reduce the falling damage to 0, you land on your feet and are not prone. That's cool. Wind barrier. An invisible barrier of air deflects ranged attacks, granting you a plus two circumstance bonus to AC against ranged attacks until the beginning of your next turn. At 13th, increases to plus three, and that's it. That could be cool. I like that. I like how these scale. Lightning storm is a major gift. <laughs> the relic surrounds you with a storm of wind, rain, and lightning in a 30-foot emanation. The storm is difficult to rain for creatures other than you. Any creature other than you that enters the storm or enters or starts its turn in the storm takes 1d12 electricity damage. With a basic reflex save, uh, 2d12 at fifth level, you can sustain this activation. I like that this like is very powerful, but it doesn't specify that your allies are immune to any of that. <laughs> um, and what did they? Though these rules assume that you as the GM are providing relics as gifts in the form of treasure. With input from the players, you can instead have the players make all the decisions for their relics. Encourage the players to choose different styles of items and aspects to match their character's themes rather than simply choosing the most powerful combination of options. Yeah. Have players describe how their relic gets more powerful in the, the story. Right. What acts from previous sessions lent their relic power? Neat. That's a good plan. As the item and the character level up, the player chooses which gifts the item gets from the list as uh, part of the character advancement. 
you still adjust treasure as normal for incorporating relics into your game. In fact, if the player tries to optimize the combinations, they will be they will likely be more powerful than under the standard method, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Let's see. And it suggests first and fifth level, like two minor gifts, or a minor gift at each level, and then major at like ninth, thirteenth, and grand at seventeenth. That's cool. Hmm. So basically, they'll have like three relics. Oh, I, yeah, the music stopped too. That's my bad. That's my bad. I don't remember where we were in Octopath, but we'll just jump to somewhere in the middle. This is a nice, calm song. I'm okay with this. I'm chill with this. So. <clears throat> 1d12, yeah. <clears throat> okay. I think I'll give him, I'll just give him a choice of like which of the minor gifts he gets. Like, he'll get two out of three of these. Um, and then if he doesn't, if he doesn't like them, we can, we can like come back later and see if we can, see if we can pray to the, the Guardian Harpy to like morph these. Also, this, this glove, this relic, it's like a, I've been talking about this, but I haven't talked about the actual item at all, but it's just a glove that the Harpy is going to give um, the wind, like the air sorcerer in the party, Sonus. Because um, they are similarly aligned. Uh, that's going to be kind of the whole thing. So that's where it's coming from. Um, and yeah, just trying to figure out what like effects it's going to have. Relics get like multiple effects based on the character's level. And since Eve is basically getting... Eve has a dagger relic that, like, whenever there are these pillars that have effects that these, like, gods are using, Eve can tap into that, and it's like a it's like a spell-storing dagger. Like, gives spell slots, basically, with these specialized effects. Uh, currently, it has Acid Splash in it. Now she'll get to pick between kind of these effects. Um, So like a portal that summons allies or like a flame wall that defends against melee attacks and obscures or like a blinding fireball or a line nuke. Just a line fire nuke. Um, that'll kind of be the next option for her. Okay. Since I'm giving Eve so much choice, I'm also going to give Sonus some choice. Interesting that this is two actions. I wonder if this is just like less good than other spells that he has. I guess it's fine as long as it's not less good than his like um cantrips. So it's about to be 2d12 damage. That's pretty significant. Average of, you know, average of 12 damage, but a high end of 24. So let's just see. What is cantrips? Cantrips. What is cantrips are gonna look like at next level? I don't even remember what cantrip he's using. I think it's like the jumpy spark. <laughs> All right. He's got produce wind, and he's got 
electric arc. Produce flame, but converted to his home element. Um, so it's... Uh, fifth level. It will be a third level spell, so it's 3d4, right? Yeah. And the persistent damage by another 1d4. So 3d4 versus... 3d4 versus 2d12 is pretty pretty good in favor of the... The 2d12. Um, they both have about this... It's like the same average damage. 3d4 is going to be about 6 damage most of the time. Um, but the high end is only 12. Oh no. The 2d12 is... De whatever. 2d12 is definitely way better than 3d4. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> My math is falling apart rapidly. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Hmm. So we're going to let Sonus pick between the wind effects. Uh, how did this get... Oh, you're right. I got zoomed out because everything crashed. Okay. We're going to just copy all these out. Um, uh, let's just call the page number 96. <clears throat> how well does this copy out, baseline? It's okay. That's bad. <laughs> the split between the line is not as impre- Oh, there we go. That, that's okay. So big, though. That's okay. Bring this out. Um, <clears throat> heading to air gifts, so that'll appear on the little outline over here. got through the Mars Lighthouse. Cool. So we're using... Okay. Sorry, just thinking about the soundtrack stuff. Um, we used, like, one boss song last week, so we get to move on to a different one this week. That's kind of kind of cool. Kind of neat. I didn't really intend to <laughs> have it that way. I was just gonna, like, switch to the second boss song, like, partway through the fight. But since the party abandoned the fight so fast. You can just start off with the new song. Neat effect of having a split, uh, fight like cut in two like this. So now I think I'm actually done. We're going to change this. Harpy loot. And we'll change this to a heading as well. Um, this is already... Yeah, this is... We can just cut this out. Cool. 
I was alarmed, so I have, like, this highlighted in gray. This just means that it's been, like, taken care of. There's not, like, a strike through in Google Docs? Like, what? Excuse me? I was very surprised to find this. Or at least, I like, it's not up here, and I don't, like, I tried the control S command, and it just tried to save the page. <laughs> so. Like, if it's here, I don't know what it is. Yeah, there should be one. That's what I thought. I thought that. And then I didn't try at all to look up whether there was one. Okay. Alt Shift 5. Ah, yes, the classic strike through command Alt Shift 5. There you go. Alt Shift 5. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Silly of me. Silly. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So that's, uh, that's nice. That's good. Glad we figured that out. Glad I spent a moment to complain about that and Google it. All right, let's go stare at the map for another minute. And, uh, but I'm pretty sure that's it, so... Yeah, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I could write a... I could write a little script for the opening tomorrow, but I might as well do that off stream. I kind of like when my like cold opens are unknown to the audience as well. Even though I know a lot of the people here aren't going to be there <laughs> for the cold open tomorrow anyway. But that's fine. It's like a, it's like a different crowd that's able to be there on Wednesdays. Um, so. Let's see. I'm definitely going to take a break. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do after the break. Um, I don't want to, like, roll call who's here, but does anyone care about checking out Foundry more? Any of Any current company? Care about looking at Foundry VTT and getting the lay of that, or should we switch to a different game? And, uh... Core, I know what your vote is. <laughs> I could almost play Royal. Hmm. We'll take a break, and then I'll come back and we'll talk about it. Um, <laughs> I want whatever Mr. Streamer wants. Once P5R comes on, though, I'm lurking. Got you, got you. Yeah, I kind of like keeping Tuesday dedicated to Pathfinder content um, and, like, GM stuff. But there just might not be... Uh, it To me, it feels like the Pathfinder crowd isn't actually here right now. Like, I don't see... I don't see Cam and I don't see Wither. Um, so maybe we could... Uh, Maybe we could swap to a game. We'll see. I'll be right back. We'll, we'll talk about it in a moment. I'll set a stream marker and, uh, yeah. Talk to you guys in a sec. 